So my name is Matt Payne, and I am the Digital Marketing and Multimedia Specialist for AmeriCorps VISTA, and I am joined by... Khadija Carr. I am a Program Associate for the VISTA Marketing Outreach and Recruitment Unit. Great. So we're coming to you from AmeriCorps VISTA headquarters in Washington, D.C., and I want to give a big thanks to Jenny Farrell from Education Northwest for all her help throughout this webinar. Uh, you'll see her in the chat and Q&A during the section. All right, thanks, Matt. So we are pleased to offer this webinar series in two parts. Two weeks ago, we covered the fundamentals of planning and outreach, and you can find that recording on the VISTA campus. Great, and yes, keep an eye out in the, the chat function. We're gonna be posting links uh, throughout the presentation. Before we get started, we have a quick recap for you all. In our last session, we helped you develop a solid foundation for effective recruitment, build a recruitment strategy targeted to your needs, and introduce key recruitment techniques and activities. We also discussed two foundational recruitment components to every VISTA site, the Volunteer Assignment Description, or VAD, and the Opportunity Listings. Both of these need to be really solid before you can begin recruiting. Keep in mind the who, what, where, when, and why. Using a VAD, you can formulate skills and experiences you are looking for in a VISTA member and the desired impact of the position or positions you are recruiting for. Remember, timing is key. Know the application trends and plan accordingly. And lastly, meet people where they are and make it visible. Great, thanks for the recap, Khadija. Awesome, so I wanna go into what we're gonna cover in today's presentation. So as a reminder, we're still in step two of the recruitment process, discussing marketing and recruitment. Since last week we covered more of the in-person elements to recruitment, we wanted to go into a deeper dive on the, in the world of digital marketing, showing you new platforms and how you can leverage them, as well as tips to make digital marketing easier for you. Um, so today we're gonna talk a little bit more about your website and tools to make it uh, more appealing job boards that are available to you to post your opportunity listings. Uh, we're gonna go in depth into social media marketing, uh, both organic and paid, depending on what's available at your organization. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about how we really aim to prioritize diversity recruitment throughout all of our marketing, and, and we're also gonna touch on email marketing. So just a reminder, uh, all the information that we've covered in our boot camp is going to be presented in a soon-to-be-released guide to recruitment, um, and uh, we're excited to share that resource with you guys pretty soon here. As many of you know, the AmeriCorps portal isn't the most engaging site in the world. It's predominantly text, lacks any sort of visuals, and is a sea of opportunity listings. Just because your listing is on the portal, doesn't mean you're going to get a lot of interested applicants. Or as I like to say, if you build it, that doesn't necessarily mean that they will come. The trick is to put in the work to make your listing stand out through other means. And not all of our projects are in Honolulu, so we'll really wanna make sure we're ramping up our efforts. We're going to share with you a few digital platforms and tools you can use to expand the exposure of your opportunities. All right, so a great place to start is your organization's website. Um, and we really just want to reiterate the importance of a good website. Uh, it's really difficult for prospective applicants sometimes to understand the differences between a VISTA position, CNCS and the larger AmeriCorps programs, and then your organization. Um, and in most cases, VISTA sponsoring organizations will have a page on their site uh, dedicated to sort of promoting their VISTA project and what's unique about it. Um, and that's really a best practice that we like to share um, because we think that um, just the more information you give a prospective applicant about the nuances of your program, um, the, the more they're going to be interested. So we really want to start uh, by focusing on the benefits. So what's in it for them? Make sure your benefits are prominently listed on your site, include professional development opportunities, and any unique benefits that your program offers, whether it's you know a gym membership at, in, at the community YMCA or a housing stipend, uh, those might be the details that sway someone uh, to apply to your program. Uh, we're also gonna post in the chat that full list of VISTA benefits, um, which you can use in, to craft your different advertising pitches. 
Awesome. So what better ambassador for the VISTA program than a current or for former member? You'll want to be sure to share testimonials of current and former members and definitely accompany those with photos. Yeah. We also want to stress it's really great to highlight the type of work that the member is actually going to be doing during the day. Uh, whether it's grant writing, social media, fundraising, um, prospective members really want to know this information. So any chance you can highlight the day-to-day, -day, uh, the better. You'll also want to make sure that you feature short videos of members and the community being served. Even if you don't have the budget to produce a video, your VISTA members can create content using their smartphone. And if we can stay on this slide just for one more sec, I just wanted to point out on this um, this example with United Way of King County, they do a really great job on their web presence. Um, shout out if you guys are on the line. But we also wanted to show this little graphic that they're incorporating. This is actually something the VISTA marketing team developed. Uh, just a few intriguing questions about are you ready to kickstart your career? Do you believe in making a difference? Do you want to pay off your student loans? These are the type of graphics that we try to create here to help you all make it easy to promote your program. So um, we'll go in depth a little more later, but uh, we have a site where you can access all of these graphics. Um, so just for those new folks on the phone or folks who don't know yet about our outreach hub, um, there's a lot of stuff that, that we can uh, point you to. All right, next slide. All right, keep it simple. So um, our program is super complex and it can be difficult to boil down the information in a simple and compelling way. So I wanted to share this example. It's from our new program brochure and it shows how we took a complex program like VISTA and boiled it down to compelling selling points um, about our program. So for example, uh, the program's 12 months. You get to choose where to serve. Um, you get to choose what you focus on. You'll be partnering with an organization, collaborating with community, as well as gaining professional edge while you're at it. While it seems like self-evident and pretty simple stuff, it's actually a lot of work to boil all of that down into something that's easily digested for somebody that has no idea what AmeriCorps is. Um, so always put yourself in the shoes of somebody that has never heard of AmeriCorps, doesn't know what a gap year is, you know, just has no context. So um, that's the lens that we always try to look through. And, and again, um, these are resources that we're developing for you to make um, your job easier as you're out there explaining our program. Um, so feel free to steal this text, reuse it, repurpose it. And, and again, we'll point you to um, our print and digital brochure resources in just a minute. Beyond your organization's website, you will want to turn to popular external hiring sources to cast a wider net. Opportunity listings should accurately reflect information provided in the VAD, and you want to make sure that the tone of your listing should invite, engage, but also convince the reader to apply. So think of this like a, pro a property listing on a real estate site. Yeah. So I'm sure many of you have heard of Indeed. Um, they have over 200 million people that visit their site every month. It's a great place to share your listings. The site provides job seekers with access to the most comprehensive list of opportunities available. They'll also post listings to Facebook and Twitter for free. Um, if that's not a hard sell, Indeed also distributes to 10,000 separate sites. Um, they feed their listings to them. Um, just a disclaimer with all of these, uh, it does vary by job board whether or not it's free to post. Um, a lot of these services will offer free postings for nonprofits. Um, let's see, Indeed has kicked our VISTA postings off their website. All right, good to know. We'll, we'll look into that, yeah. Again, it can be tricky because VISTA is a volunteer opportunity, but sometimes our folks post them as job opportunities and they are not jobs. Um, so that's, that's work we can do on our end to try to communicate that with these organizations. But again, just that disclaimer that um, it does vary, some are free, and and as Danielle Brown pointed out, um, and we'll go into in a second, yes, service year went from free to paid, a paid membership. So you just kind of always have to keep adjusting and see what works for your organization. A lot of you may also be familiar with Idealist, which houses the largest nonprofit job board in the nation. There are over 4,000 job postings and more than 16,000 volunteer opportunities. And lucky for us, VISTA, is a volunteer opportunity, and that can be posted at no cost. They have search 
types, which include functions, locations, and organization types. Great. All right. So service year. Um, I'm sure most of you have heard of them by now. This is a new organization um, that's making a splash into the service world, uh, aligned very closely with the work that we do at the Vista Marketing Unit and at CNCS, but um, they are a job board for survey, or they are a, a, a board to post a service opportunities on. Um, like we said, they started for free, but they've switched to a membership a paid membership. I'm not 100% sure on the details on how much it costs. I think it's still in flux. And there are programs that are um, found, founding programs, apparently, that if you're lucky enough to be one of their founding programs, they're not charging those programs. So it's a little bit of picking and choosing um, on that. But just to be aware, Service Year is doing a lot of marketing across the country to let young people know about Service Years. Um, so this could be a place for you uh, to post your listings. All right, and also volunteer match. For a small fee of $9.95 a month, they offer extensive volunteer recruitment and management services. Their features include automatic reply and attachments which further engage your target audience and expand your reach. Great, thanks Khadija. All right, so we wanted to do a little more in-depth dive into LinkedIn because it's really dynamic and there's a lot of opportunities. And I know you've all heard of LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a great option to search for candidates. Um, largest professional network in the world, 500 million profiles. Um, for use in a Vista recruitment context, we have a few options for you. Um, so number one, you can set up a company profile if you don't already have one um, and make postings and updates about your organization. It operates a lot like a social media platform. So you just post an update free to post with an image or a link um, or, you know, a, a listing, and, um, and it'll be shared to your network of followers. So that's only the folks that have connected with you on LinkedIn. Uh, two, LinkedIn has a, re a paid recruitment service um, with advanced targeting. This is what a lot of HR professionals use, um, and it's headhunting. Um, you can filter by location, skill set. You can look for folks who are looking for new opportunities. Um, or just curious. You can search for young people who have just graduated with specific degrees. Um, so really advanced targeting. That is a paid service. Uh, it's also pretty expensive. But um, just a little note on something coming soon. So us at the Vista Marketing Unit, we do, we've recently purchased a paid subscription to this headhunting service. And we'll be working with state offices to offer targeted LinkedIn headhunting for in-need projects. So in the future, we foresee it as in, in, in places that are just really struggling to get folks in the door. Um, we're hoping to work with your state offices and with you all to uh, really drill down and, and find the right person for your needs and reach out to them via LinkedIn. Um, and lastly, LinkedIn has a job board. So it is a place where you can post listings um, and it's LinkedIn for nonprofits specifically focuses on those volunteer opportunities. In all of your outreach and recruitment, it is critical to properly promote AmeriCorps VISTA logo on, alongside your organization's logo. Here you'll find a few examples of proper co-branding. Whether it, whether it is on your organization's website or a job board that allows you to post photos or logos, always be sure to co-brand. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you keep logos the proper size and prominent, and all official AmeriCorps VISTA logos can be found at nationalservice.gov slash logos. So like I said, we wanted to make another quick plug for the VISTA Outreach Hub. Uh, we spent a ton of time on this, and we're really excited about it. So we just want to make sure that everybody knows it's out there. Um, it's a central place with all of our digital and physical marketing resources, whether you need a logo, whether you want new social media graphics, posters, or actual physical brochures sent to your organization, it's all going to be there. So you get to that site by going to Vista, or sorry, nationalservice.gov slash Vista Outreach. And that one has been posted in the chat. Um, and just a quick thing to make, oh, sorry about that. Um, just a quick thing, make sure we're following up with some of your questions. 
Uh, we had a question from Linda about rural community recruitment. Um, it is a huge challenge. A lot of folks struggle to um, find people willing to relocate. Uh, one of the things we suggest is uh, rural organizations that have large student age contingencies, such as 4-H and Future Farmers of America, um, those are good organizations to reach out to um, to try to connect to their networks. All right. And I should mention we're actually, VISTA will be going to the National uh, FFA conference this year to recruit. And we'll be specifically talking about all the great opportunities to serve in, in the rural parts of our country. So Great. And thanks to Claire for pointing out Volunteer Match does have a free option for these postings. So make sure to utilize those boards. All right. So another point really important to reiterate is just what a great asset video is. So one of the best ways you can invest your time and energy in marketing your project is by creating high quality video that shares the impact um, and highlights your mission and spotlights your vistas. Um, we know resources vary by organization. So if the budget is tight and you don't have the in-house talent, you can utilize some already existing video assets that we've produced. There are a lot of them. Um, and for those of you that are a new project and don't have VISTAs that have served at your site to, you know, interview, um, again, just the day-to-day, -day, getting to know the culture and the mission of your organization, um, th those go a really long way. Um, and also, one exciting thing that's coming down the pike is um, our new VISTA recruitment video. So as some of you may have seen, VISTA has a new um, campaign. Um, it's accompanied with our Go Where You're Needed tagline. Um, so we have this really cool high-speed uh, Go Where You're Needed recruitment video that's about a minute long um, that we're going to be launching uh, during AmeriCorps week. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be a really great asset for you, especially this year um, for your marketing toolkit. Um, captures Vista in a very exciting and modern light. Moving away from social media, we wanted to share with you a couple of other digital recruitment strategies. We'll start with email marketing. Email marketing is a very powerful and effective tool. We use it to target our stakeholders, members, and alums. But unfortunately, email marketing platforms do cost money, but your organization may already have such services. They are worth the while and definitely worth the investment and are great for recruitment. Be sure to maintain a database of emails or past volunteers and send them recruitment pitches. You can also explore purchasing lists of emails of students in nearby colleges. And as with social media, visuals are key. Keeping the ask simple with a catchy subject line or deadline are sure to be effective. All right, now I'm gonna to talk to you about social media. So I love this little graphic because for the social media account managers in the room, you can relate to this feeling of managing all of the different um, nuances to different social media accounts, it can feel like a real handful. Um, there's a ton of different social media platforms, they each have their own flavor, and it's a pretty large investment of time and creativity to do it right. Uh, that being said, it's a really excellent way to target um, your, the potential candidates and your audiences. Um, so why social media, and we really are gonna dig deep into some tools for you on this, um, it's because it's a really great way to stay connected to your alumni, if you have them in your program, to your stakeholders, um, and potential applicants. It's, it's a stage to present yourself on. It's also your biggest fans in the digital world in one place. Uh, it's a really great resource. Um, it's also an excellent recruitment tool. Um, not only are you reaching people where they are, our target demographic is on social media, uh, all day long. We've seen it in our analytics. They're always online, um, but you also are um, creating connections, and if you have a VISTA member serving and they're sharing your advertisement to fill another position, um, you know, it's a stronger connection because it's somebody they know and it's somebody they trust and they've seen that person's experience throughout their whole year. So it's just a really strong way um, to market. Um, and lastly, just sharing your stories, sharing your impact, and creating a brand for your organization and for your project. Um, if, if you do that well, you're going to have a lot more success getting uh, people of all ages to be interested in, your, in coming to your project. All right. 
So I want to touch briefly, oh wow, that uh, you guys might not be able to see the, the Twitter, it's kind of showing up really bright, but I, I'm going to run through really quickly on some of the pros and cons of the different social media platforms from the perspective of a marketer. So four brands, which ones? are worth going to. So Facebook, like I mentioned, king of social media platforms, largest in the world, 128 billion users, and it's really set up excellent for marketers. Um, it's got a robust analytics platform. You can target folks um, by age, location, interests, um, all sorts of demographic targeting, which makes it um, a favorite for marketers. Um, it does lean to a little bit of an older, audience, so that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, one of the cons of the platform is because it's so popular with brands, it's really easy to be oversaturated as a user with ads. So it's harder to stand out. Um, so that's a challenge we face. Twitter, it's got a younger demographic, but uh, and the con is, is expensive to advertise on um, with kind of a short lifespan of posts. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, Instagram. So Skews Younger, this is a platform, if you haven't heard of it, it's where um, users share pictures and short videos. Um, not quite as strong targeting anal and analytics, but ever since it was acquired by Facebook, it does have some more built-in um, analytics, and it's a part of the Facebook ad platform, which is super useful. All right, next slide, thank you. Um, so we already kind of went into a lot of detail on LinkedIn. But just one more thing to know, if you're interested, you can pay to advertise on the LinkedIn newsfeed, um, if that's something you're interested in. Um, and last, but certainly not least, the unicorn of social media, Snapchat, the youngest of the demographic, 100 million users, uh, a, a lot. Um, well, A, it's, it's a very popular platform, um, really engaged user base. One of the cons, it is a ton of creative investment um, to create really high quality um, and approved Snapchat ads, um, but maybe something to consider for your organization. Another way that you can engage with Snapchat is to just create an account for your organization as a brand to have a Snapchat and have your members do sort of a day in the life of their service um, and, you know, have them interview, um, you know, the CEO or, or, or folks around that. Or we have options here. You can actually um, reach out to us and we can facilitate getting your AmeriCorps members in touch with the um, social media manager, and we offer takeovers, Snapchat takeovers to the AmeriCorps, sorry, it's actually a CNCS Snapchat account, um, so that is an option for your folks. Great. Okay, so we're going to start to dig a little deeper into social media marketing, give you some insights into its capabilities and what makes a great social media ad, um, specifically on Facebook, because we think that's a place where you really get a bang for your buck. So just to give you a little more insight, um, social media has two types of content, organic content, meaning it's free to post, um, as well as paid content. Um, that's the promoted content, um, which is sometimes referred to as pay to play. Organic content means people can only see your content uh, if you've already liked your organization. So you're not really reaching outside of folks that already know about you. In our AmeriCorps space, we refer to that as sort of talking to ourselves in the AmeriCorps bubble. That's why we really like to do some paid promoted content. Um, it's important for us to reach out to new audiences and really um, get our message out there. Um, so promoted, promoted content, um, like I said, the demographic targeting is really, really useful. Um, interests, education, you can, um, you can target your own audience if you want to sort of remarket to them, um, tons and tons of options, um, just all about, you know, sort of advocating for, for a budget for digital marketing. That's the key here. All right, next. Let's get into some more nuts and bolts. So when creating content for social media, whether it's paid or organic, Visuals are critically important, and the research shows that posts that include images produce 650% higher engagement than text-only posts. We process visual information 60,000 times faster than text, and visual content is now 40 times more likely to be shared on social media. 
So if you want to succeed in this space, you must invest the time, energy, and resources to highlighting your work in a visual way. So now we know the size and resources at your programs vary, but some of you may have designers and social media managers on staff. Others may not have social media accounts at all. Whichever the case may be, I'm going to show you some simple tools for making the job easier and some of the types of content that we have had success with at VISTA. All right, so on the slide, you can see this is an example of an organic Facebook post that we created that did very, very well. It's centered around impact and has a great professional photo in the background. We recommend you create infographics such as, the, as this to share um, in your communities. We know that this inspires prospective members to want to join the cause. How much impact are you making? you want to make sure that you're highlighting this on your uh, website as well. And some of you may be wondering, how do you overlay text on that photo or make the uh, image transparent? Don't worry, we are going to show you just how to do that, especially for the non-designers that are joining us today. All right, so we've got a couple of tools to share. The first is Canva. Canva.com is a graphic design resource for dummies. It has thousands of pre-designed templates that you can upload your photos or logos to and make a variety of graphic assets. From Facebook cover photos to a social media recruitment ad, this software is a very, very helpful resource for organizations large and small. And I encourage all of you to go and play around on it and see how you can use it uh, in your work. Great. Icons. All right, so some of you may be wondering, where are all these little icons I'm seeing everywhere on all these ads and posters? Um, icons are very trendy in the world of design at the moment. Uh, the reason why is it's, it's a way to get away from text. Um, a lot of advertisements, people fall prey to just wanting to put all the information in one place at once, and that's really not what we're looking for. We want to keep it simple. So these are excellent ways to communicate information visually. There's an awesome website, it's called thenounproject.com, and it's just a free library of icons that artists donate, um, you know, their little artistic creations to, so some of them are pretty fun. Um, you can go download for free, upload to Canva, um, or in Microsoft Word or Publisher, which or Illustrator, depending on what software you're using, um, will help you create uh, social media graphics, flyers, things like that. So. Just keep in, keep in mind that resource. All right, now we're going to continue covering some of the successful types of content you can use in your social media marketing strategy. We like to lead with what we call benefits forward. For example, this infographic clearly outlines the four top benefits of AmeriCorps VISTA service and ends with a call to action to serve. Many of you have additional benefits for your programs, and it's very, very important that you highlight them. And you want to make sure that you're highlighting these both on your website and also on social media. The second example is a fun and simple seasonal graphic promoting our summer service opportunities. Add service to your summer with three points. Give back, earn money for school, and strengthen communities. And then it has a strong call to action button, join AmeriCorps VISTA. All right, so next up are blogs and listicles. Um, so social media audiences really love this type of content, um, popularized by BuzzFeed for those of you um, who are on social media. These are fun, casual, and very shareable pieces of content. It's otherwise known as content marketing, which is really just a way of not hitting people over the head so much with, buy this, apply here but here's a piece of information or you know, a list of something that's just of interest in general to an audience, and then the plug at the bottom. You know, so it's creating, um, for example, we had a VISTA who put together a listicle, a year of VISTA service, five lessons for nonprofits and other service members, and you know, at the bottom of that, apply to up to us sports, the organization that that came from. So um, it's a really, really great way of sort of hiding the cell but um, really capturing more people. So um, it doesn't have to be 
scientific uh, or overthought. A lot of times it's just, you know, fun and casual lifestyle content. Um, our, our second, all right, um, so sorry, both of these pieces did really, really well on our channel, uh, and it's a really great template to replicate. So um, try that in your marketing mix. And the last content type we wanted to share was posts that feature awesome alums. If you have a project that has VISTA alums, make sure that you keep in, in touch with them. Follow their careers and reach out to them as they gain success and advance their work. We believe it's important to tell the story of the great successes of our members to show that hashtag AmeriCorps works. The first example is our top performing Facebook post of all time, and it was a Time article about a VISTA alum who became the first Somali American female legislator. It did incredibly well with our audience, and we are super excited about it. The second is a really cool feature of a VISTA alum who became the president and CEO of the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. Great. All right, so quotes and member features. Um, never underestimate the power of a simple motivational quote. Uh, we'll post a hashtag Motivation Monday or Wisdom Wednesday quote, and they will literally catch fire. And we're always like, is it that easy? Just copy and paste a quote over an image. Um, people, people just really love a little tidbit of um, inspiration, and you can always accompany them with a, a pitch to, you know, apply to our listing, apply to our, uh, come serve with our organization. It's, it's just a way you can sort of assert your values as an organization through these motivational quotes. Um, and inspire other people to be part of it. Member features, um, we really love to hear from our members. We think they're our best salespeople. Um, and a simple photo of a member with a little quote about their service and how it's been life-changing or how it's been, you know, a struggle but they've overcome. Uh, like people want to hear sort of the real, um, the real examples of, of folks doing Vista. So those go a really long way. All right, so we've showed you some VISTA content. Now we want to show you some sample content from the field. I wanted to point out what works and what doesn't work so well. On this first post, you can see the project uploaded images of the project description. Super informative, right? But this is not a great social media post. There's far too much text and visuals are way too small. The second example is very much straight to the point. Bold, we're hiring in a bright color, simple and effective, although there's no co-branding. The last example, you see a project put together a member feature. They included a great photo, a quote, and a call to action. There's also some great co-branding with the project logo and the AmeriCorps Vista logo. So the text is a little bit hard to read on this one, but you can see that this is definitely moving in the right direction. Great. So we covered the organic part of social media marketing. Now we just want to touch on the paid social media marketing. Again, for those, those of you who are lucky enough to have advertising dollars um, or for those of you interested in advocating for those, um, this was a paid social media campaign that Vista did recently um, to recruit um, uh, members to our program. So it, it, um, you can see that the posts are, are really simple. There's not too much text. There's a great visual and a simple call to action, apply now. Um, paid advertising, put simply, just can reach so much more, uh, can reach so much many people. And these, these are posts that, these three posts alone reached over 200,000 people and drove tons of traffic to the Vista website. So I wanted to show you all just how powerful digital marketing is um, by the numbers. Uh, this is a snap snapshot of the outcomes of that entire digital campaign. Um, so what you'll see here is this little blue circle is the organic traffic to the Vista site in a two-month period. So in 2016, in two months, organically, um, you know, through all the outreach of our project sponsors and word of mouth, we had about 91,000 people come to our site. Um, and in the same period a year later, we did two months of digital advertising uh, on Facebook, on Google AdWords, Instagram. Um, we just really um, invested in getting the word out online. 
So we not only had 80,000 folks organically come to our site, but we had an additional 134 sessions that through Google Analytics, we were able to track were a part of um, directly a result of those advertisements. So an additional 134,000 people got to learn about Vista. Uh, that's amazing. It's way more than our team could ever do getting on a plane and going to a recruitment conference. So um, again, digital marketing is insanely powerful. And although your operation might not be on this scale, it's just something to keep in mind as um, there are low cost options um, short period, um, there are options to do it in a short amount of time. Uh, so just this is this is a really great thing to have in your toolkit um, when the the need arises. All right. So one last really helpful tool for managing your social media accounts, whether you're the one creating the post or the one managing someone who does, scheduling will be very very much key to social media. Facebook allows you to create and schedule posts up to six months in the future, and Hootsuite for Twitter allows you to schedule tweets at any point in the future. However, you cannot tag with that option. And as a reminder, always tag AmeriCorps Vista when you're creating your posts, and we'll then be notified and be able to share your content. All right, now for some friendly advice on social media marketing. So for, again, I love this little graphic. For those of you who have ever managed a social media account, you know this feeling. You put all this energy into crafting a post and getting it out in the world, and it gets very little traction. It is devastating. Um, but again, the advice is, even if it doesn't get traction, don't fret. Social media really is more of an art than a science. Some days things work, some days the same thing doesn't. And you can drive yourself a little crazy. Uh, thinking about it too much, but just keep trying, keep at it, um, experiment with different things, um, and, and you'll definitely get more of a, a rhythm. Um, social media never sleeps. Be careful not to let it consume you. It's kind of easy to get caught in that digital black hole. So just use these tools at your disposal and give it your best. So we've talked a lot about specific sites and resources, and we want to make sure that we give you a few more. In AmeriCorps VISTA, it is very important that our volunteer corps is representative of the diversity of America and the communities where we serve. We always recommend that projects consider recruiting directly from the communities where they are serving and to source local talent and perspectives. There are many national organizations which have local chapters representing a diverse constituency of both students and professionals. So formerly known as the National Council of La Raza, Unidos US is the national nonpartisan voice of the Latino community, and they have a lot of local chapters across the United States that you can connect with. The mission of the Urban League movement is to enable African Americans to secure economic self-reliance, parity, power, and civil rights. All right, next up, we've got the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, and they ensure the political, educational, social, and economic equality of rights of all persons and to eliminate race-based discrimination. The National Council of Asian Pacific Americans is a coalition of Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander organizations striving for equity and justice by organizing diverse strengths to influence policy and shape public narratives. We've also got some more organizations serving diverse communities. The National LGBTQ Centers is a directory of every LGBTQ serving center in the U.S. And the Lynx is one of the nation's oldest and largest volunteer service organizations of extraordinary women who are committed to enriching, sustaining, and ensuring the culture and economic survival of African Americans and other persons of African ancestry with over 280 chapters worldwide. There's also AARP, or the American Association of Retired Persons, which is the largest nonprofit dedicated to advancing the needs of Americans aged 50 and older, and they have hundreds of local chapters around the U.S. I would say that you should definitely start by reaching out to these organizations to set up meetings with the local representatives and explain why you would want to engage their members. In addition to these organizations that you've mentioned, it's also important that you consider expanding your outreach to local churches and other faith-based organizations. 
All right. Okay. So you get the idea. Um, you know, we hope that there's some new names on there that that we introduce you to that that you can reach out to and connect with. Again, this is a huge priority for us, and we know everybody's really busy, but. Um, there are networks that you can link into that, that make it easier to make sure we're, again, representing the communities that we're serving in. Um, so as we've mentioned, um, your, your fellow supervisors, too, are a really great resource. Um, learn about their successes and challenges and what works in the VISTA context, because we know it's a pretty unique circumstance. Um, but yeah, we just encourage you to reach out to each other. All right, so that was a ton of information, and we hope that you've enjoyed our boot camp series. Today we dove a lot deeper into the world of digital marketing, showing you new platforms that you can leverage, as well as tips to make your digital marketing efforts easier. With these tools, we expect that you will create fun and engaging graphics using Canva. We also hope that you will create social media posts that inspire prospective applicants representing a variety of cultural backgrounds. But before you log off, we've got a short evaluation and a Q&A session. All right. So um, please take a few moments to share your feedback through the quick poll on the right side of the screen. Uh, we just want to know, how can we improve these sessions? What topics should we include in future webinars? How do we do? Um, and again, just thank you so much for your time. We know how busy you are. Um, but no, we're here with you, and uh, we're in VISTA recruitment together, um, so please reach out to us uh, at VISTA Outreach at CNS.gov if you have um, uh, just anything that comes up. And then once you finish those questions, we will jump into Q&A, and we can ask the operator right. to get back in here. So I can. you can ask a question using the Q&A panel located on the right of your screen. And also, at this time, I'm going to invite Monet on the line, our operator, to let us know how to answer a question by phone. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. If you would like to ask a question, please press star 1 from your phone, unmute your line, and record your first and your last name clearly when prompted. If you would like to withdraw your question, please press star 2. Once more, if you would like to ask a question over the phone, please press star 1, unmute your line, and record your first and last name Clearly when prompted, one moment as we wait for any questions. Alrighty, so I'm seeing a question coming in from Lee. I'm having a lot of difficulty recruiting a leader. Some of the platforms you've recommended don't work so well for leaders. Viewers don't understand that you need to have already served as a VISTA. Any recommendations? Uh, Lee, this is Allie Snell, and here with my colleagues. Um, in terms of leaders, uh, I think that's an excellent question. We've started to grapple with this issue, and one of the things that we're looking to do from headquarters is actually send out targeted marketing to all of our businesses around the country to encourage them to um, promote or to consider becoming a leader um, for a second year. Um, I will also say another place to advertise um, your leader position is with the Peace Corps. If you go to peacecorps.gov, and I'll, send, I'll, I'll put the link here in the chat in a second while I look it up, but they, Peace Corps has a job board which can be seen by all of its uh, Return Peace Corps volunteers. And the reason why I said, suggest that is that Return Peace Corps volunteers are actually eligible for serving as leaders. So um, that's another area I know that some projects have had success um, in doing that. So I'll submit the, the link to the Peace Corps job board. RPCV is called RPCV Career Link, um, and that's worked for some folks as well. Yeah, and I'll, I'll also add, this is Matt, just to give you a little insight into sort of what's on our plate, because again, this question has definitely come up. Uh, we are looking to, in the next couple months, develop um, a specific marketing material that is just targeted to leaders, so we've been asked to create a one-pager that, that really does highlight the benefits of a leader and, and just targets that population. Also know that we have um, access to being able to pull alumni. Like we have these lists, we know who served, and that really is your main audience um, to to target is previous Vista. So make your needs known. Reach out to us at vistaoutreach.gov at, at cns.gov. Um, you know, if this is a, a, a need across the country, people are really struggling to get that 
uh, leader to come in for a second year, uh, we can help you develop some, some email marketing and we can send those out on your behalf. So again, just uh, make your needs known and, and know that this is something that we're working on. All righty, I'm seeing another question. It's looking like, what advice can you give on writing VISTA opportunity listings so they're appealing to people who are likely to be interested in service and will result in actual applications? Hey, Bill, um, and I'm going to ask uh, Jenny or Scott, our colleagues from uh, Ed Northwest, to post the link to this. Um, but we actually have a webinar on the VISTA campus that is about writing compelling opportunity listings. So um, if you have time to just even look through the notes for that, that's a great place to start. Um, and then I will say we have a, uh, hopefully by the end of this week or early next week, we will be sending an email out to everybody uh, with the guide to VISTA recruitment. And we actually have a breakdown of how to write a compelling opportunity listing in the various fields embedded in the guide. Um, but a lot of it is, is there, so it's either between that webinar and the forthcoming guide, which we'll be sending out. Yeah. And Bill, in addition to that, uh, this is Khadija. I'm a VISTA alum, and everybody in here is actually a National Service alum. Uh, but I think one of the things that really sticks out is the highlighting of those benefits of service, right? Whether that be professional development or uh, capacity building or the opportunity to work in an office setting for the first time or things that are specific to VISTA like non-competitive eligibility, I would definitely uh, encourage you to emphasize those things. Also emphasizing the type of work that the, the VISTAs will be doing like grant writing and social media, fundraising, these sorts of things that are very, very marketable for once VISTAs complete service, um, I, would, I would say definitely emphasize those things. Great. And then can we check in with the operator? Are there any questions on the phone? We do not have any questions over the phone. All right. Last call for questions. Uh, again, star one to ask a question over the phone or uh, in the chat box. Um, and then uh, I just, this is Ali. I, I see uh, Lee just asked um, about when we're doing outreach to current businesses. Um, Lee, why don't you send us an email at to Vista Outreach at cns.gov offline. We can talk to you directly about some of the strategies. Don't be shy. Anyone else have any questions? Um, I want to just reiterate, someone asked about um, Native American resources, so we put a bunch of those um, in the chat box. Um, so different organizations, and I will say we actually, we meaning with the headquarters, we engage all of these organizations on a national level, so um, the ones that we listed out we know for sure have local chapters that you can engage on a local level. Um, a lot of the organizations we listed here are a little more um, national based or have a, a very few local chapters, but definitely worth reaching out to. All right. And for the question about whether or not this webinar will be archived, this webinar will be available in about a week. On the VISTA campus. On the VISTA campus. Right. Thanks for that question, Deborah. Operator, any questions on the phone? No questions over the phone. Thank you. Again, thanks everybody for joining. We know how busy you are and uh, we, we hope this was useful. And um, uh, thanks again. Have a great day. Thank you.